Now we will talk about specifications. Developing vehicle specifications is an important step in concept development because they define the vehicle for what it is. So there can be various forms of metrics which define the product. They can be in the form of dimensions, in the form of configurations, in the form of performance parameters. So the vehicle and its features are defined by the specifications. These specifications are then cascaded down to the lowest level as the product development progresses. So the vehicle specifications get cascaded down or drilled down to system specifications, then to subsystem specifications and then to component specifications. So during the concept development phase, the preliminary vehicle specifications are created and as the system design starts, system specifications are generated and during the detailed design phase, the component specifications are established. So there can be a wide range of vehicle specifications which will be defined at the concept development phase. It basically depends on how much we know about the product which you are designing. So the more we know, the more elaborate the specifications will be. But the most basic of the specifications are listed over here. Wheel base, wheel track, width, height and length of the vehicle, ground clearance, approach, departure, brake overangles, front overhang, rear overhang and the generic system specifications that is the type of powertrain, type of suspension, wheels, type of construction etc. The wheel base is the distance between the front and rear wheels shown over here. This is number 4. Wheel track is the distance between the uh, left and right wheel center and width of the vehicle height and length is obvious. Ground clearance is the clearance between the lowest point of the vehicle to the ground. So for off-road vehicles this is generally higher. For sports cars it's very low. The approach, departure and brake over angles of the vehicle are shown over here. They have a very important bearing on the off-roading of the vehicle. So if a vehicle is designed to go off-road then these angles along with the ground clearance will be very important. So any off-road vehicle as you can see over here the Jeep has a high approach angle, high departure angle and high brake over angle. For a vehicle like a sports car, they will have very low approach angles, very low departure angles and very low brake over angles. And along with these, front overhang and rear overhang are important. So you can see over here the front overhang is the distance between the front wheel to the frontmost point on the bumper and the rear overhang is the rear wheel to the rearmost point of the bumper. And then there are generic system specifications like type of powertrain, type of suspension wheels, type of construction and more in detail about the features, the different types of features which are available for the vehicle. So all of these will form the vehicle specifications.